so welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we are going to take a look at and do a walk around inspection on the latest addition to the Rock Solid inventory in this 1966 Mustang Convertible GT clone. This car benefits from an older restoration that say is a nice driver quality restoration. It does present very well in this dark blue metallic paint. And it has all the correct GT additions, including the badges, the rocker stripes. And coming around to the front, you'll see the correct GT fog lamps. It just adds to just the curb appeal of this beautiful Mustang. And beyond that, I mean, this car received a number of, I mean, including the quick ratio uh, steering box. I mean, this car was a nice, correct GT clone and it drives as such. This is a great mechanical car and just a great driver example of these Mustang convertibles. So now we're going to grab the other camera and take this beautiful Mustang for a test drive. Pretty pony interior. Yeah. So yeah. Now we're going to go for a test drive into that beautiful 66 Mustang GT clone. Uh, Radio's on. Radio works. And that 289, I mean, it's bump key just about yeah. every time. And a warm day today. It is. The car does not have AC because, uh, yeah. I mean, why would you not drive this with the top down? <laughs> it would be nice to have the top down. It, it would be. It'd be a beautiful day for yeah. it. But it is a warmer day. Got the top up. So you, you all don't have to listen to that wind noise. Yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, we are going to enjoy this. We will. Is it? It's a nice sound little driver. It is. The car drives great. It's straight as an arrow. I mean, it's effortless. That power steering. I mean, very nice straight driving car. Mustang does have manual brakes, but it's manual front disc. Um, from so the factory. From, yeah, disc from the factory. From disc from the factory. So it stops better than a manual drum car, but you still do have to give yourself a little bit more time than a power brake car. The blower motor is inoperable. Mm -hmm. It does not work. It does have a new heater core. I know that. Yep. The horn 
I'm pretty sure the horn works. Horn works. I'm not okay. gonna honk at this. Poor guy. Big old <laughs> motor home. But, yeah. A great sound out of that dual exhaust. Just see that right now. Downshifts into passing gear properly. You know what? I. 65. Yeah. Hold on to the 65. test drive we're going to move on to the walk around inspection portion of the test drive video and before we get into it, this car does benefit from an older restoration uh looking at it i believe it to be about a 30 year old or so restoration it's older it's has been guess. has been a little enjoyed so it's, it's going to have some minor defects but they are minor it's still a great looking car um, coming into the driver's side fender you can kind of see the fender itself is nice and clean might be a little itty bitty stone chip there. Um, your Mustang script is in very good condition. The stripes are in very good condition. Your GT emblem is showing a little bit of age, but not bad kind of to get on it to notice. Uh, fen the rest of the fender is very straight. You do have a couple little stone chips that have been touched up on top of the fender. I thought I saw one more right here. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but and then you have your 289 script again, just a hint of edge showing in the chrome, maybe some minor pitting starting. But the factory four wheels are in very good condition, present well. And they also have a little bit of They do, just like the kinder, minor age. But coming across to the top of the fender, you'll see there's some like age and like you have some checking starting in the paint. We're all very minor defects. This side of the cowl is in very good condition. Your glass is in very good condition. It's nice and clear. The stainless surround is in very good condition. That's just some dirt. Your wiper arms are nice and bright. 
driver's side of your hood. You do have a little bit of age in the paint. So I don't know if it's going to show up. You really have to get in the right angle. Most everything we're pointing out, you have to be within just a couple feet of the car. Yeah. But your headlight basket on the driver's side is just got maybe a little, couple little chips. But it's nice and solid. Headlights are nice and clear. Your bumper shines very well. Not really seeing any defects to note. Might be a little scratch in the chrome there. Front valence in very good condition. A little bug there. Yeah. <laughs> but your GT grill is in very good condition. There is a minor chrome loss here in the front of this fog lamp. But your pony's nice and bright. And the fog lamps do work as you'll see in a little bit. And then you have the dealer installed hood emblem, which is kind of unique. You don't see them very often on these Mustangs. You have a little dimple, this little ding right there in the hood. Very minor, I think, this little stone chip here. We might miss a couple stone chips here and there on this car. Like Tyler said, it has some age. and. We do have a little very, bit of a rub about from nice, there, there on the hood. Very nice driver power the car. It is. There's some very light scratching. I don't know if it'll show up or not. We're coming into the passenger side fender. The fender itself is very straight. Um, again, you have a little aging on your 289 emblem. Looks like maybe a couple, but oh, there's a little scratch that's been touched up there. I'm trying to see, but I saw a touch there's up there. A, there's a light scratch here on the fender. Not sure if that'll show up. Yeah, there it is. And again, you have your correct GT badge, and actually the one on this side's in very good condition. Same with your Mustang script. This wheel, very comparable to the other one, very good condition, just with some minor age present. The passenger side of your windshield is in very good condition. Again, no cracks or defects to note. And the stainless is, again, in very good condition. There are a couple little nipples in the paint. Coming into the passenger side door, with your rocker stripes nice and complete. You do have a couple little stone chips down low on top of the rocker. Probably just from people getting in and out of the car. Little, yeah. But the door seems to be very straight. Chrome surrounds. You do have some minor aids showing in your vent window surround. But very minor, you have to get up to see it. Good to see it. The door handles in very good condition. Again, just a hint of age present. Okay, you'll see a very solid door. Corners aren't all mudded up. The interior is in good condition. It's good. It does have a little bit of age to it, a little bit of wear, but still presents very well. There's a little chip in the paint there. The, the vinyl portion of this door panel is in very good condition. There is some age on both the handles. Silk plate has got some age, a couple little dents and dings here and there. <clears throat> Your driver's side, or the passenger side, I'm on the passenger side now. The passenger side seat is in very good condition. Got some 
very minor rub there. And your carpet has got a little bit of age to it. There's some fading on the outer edges. See, it's blue in the center. Your dash pad is in very good condition. No warping or cracking to note. Your club box cover factory or the aftermarket radio with an uncut dash though your factory center console and there is some age throughout the chrome here on the center of the console come into the back the rear carpet it does have a little bit of age and wear to it but it's still in good condition rear quarter panel is in good condition a little bit of age on the window crank but the rear seat on the passenger side is in very good condition no tears and you got the the boot for the convertible top that's in very good condition and fits very well. I'm gonna put that window up to Yeah. Put these side windows up. You do have some age on the chrome. I evidently don't have mine up all the way. But the glass itself is in excellent condition. We'll have Tyler put that top up here in a minute. Coming into the passenger side and rear quarter, again you have some touch-ups here and there, but the quarter itself is nice and straight, no dents to, or dings to really note. Make sure not too many stone chips down low in the quarter either. Do have a little bit of paint loss on this wheel. Bad. On top of the quarter, it's actually very straight and clean. And your deck lid is nice and straight and clean as well. You might have a couple little defects in the paint, real minor. It's a very nice driver quality paint. Yes. And there is a little bit of a shade difference in this quarter extension than the rest of the car. Into this rear tail light. You do have some pitting going on in the chrome portions as well as some paint loss in between the tail light lenses. But your rear bumper is nice, straight, and bright like it should be. The same amount of age on the driver's side rear taillight. Your GT gas gas cap is actually in very good condition. Coming out to your rear valence is in very good condition. GT exhaust tips. Yep. Your GT trumpets. Actually in very good condition. Bottom side, your trunk lid's in very good condition. Come into the trunk, you see it's nicely detailed with the liner kit. It does appear that you've had maybe some quarter work done in the past. Rear tire. Also a rally. And there's a bag with, I think, the tire iron. Tyler, you want to see what's in that bag there? Yeah. But very, very solid trunk. It's, it's, your, your, it's your jack and tire iron. Your jack and tire iron. Okay, give the trunk a little love. Coming into the driver's side quarter, you do have some stone chipping where the quarter meets 
the extension. Got a little one there. Little stone tree that's been touched up there. There's another little touch up near the top of the quarter. But the rest of the quarter is very straight. And we're getting really nitpicky on yeah. this. I mean, it's it's a very nice driver quality car. Got a, maybe a little bubble in the paint there. You're gonna be very. It's gonna be very liked at the local cruise in or car show. It absolutely is. It just beautiful car. It's had some great curb appeal. Again, just a minor edge showing on that rear driver's side rally. Co convertible boot on the driver's sides and. Excellent condition. Come your driver's side door. That is very straight. Again, you have the same kind of touch ups and chips along the top of the rocker. And there's a little paint touch up here. There's a couple scratches on top of the door. But the chrome and stainless surround around your vent window are pretty comparable to the passenger side. Just a hint of H1, actually maybe a little less for the passenger side. You got a little pitting down in this corner. Door handle is nice and bright, just with a hint of age. Laws here and there, and across the top here, there's some chips in the paint. From resting the arm with the windows down, you got a little bit of pitting in the. Not really, yeah. There's some very light pitting and age. Your center vinyl panel again is in very good condition on the driver's side. Now your scuff plate on the driver's side. A little bit nicer than on the passenger side, so it's very little age. Wow. Got your factory switches and the same some light fading around the edges of the carpet. And the driver's side on this pony interior, the cording does have some fabric missing. There's some gouges I'm assuming that's from the seat belt and then there's one small hole and then you get some cording issue there and then you got the factory steering wheel that's in good condition it does show a little bit of age and there's a crack there but other than that it's in very good condition horns do work and then your rally pack, like we said earlier, is in inoperable. All the rest of your gauges are working. Driver's side of the dash is in very good condition. Your heater controls. And the driver's side. Rear seats in very good condition. No tears. No splits. And the rear quarter panel. It's in very good condition. You do have some age on the window crank. A little minor chip there. We'll put these windows up real quick too. And again, the glass is in very good condition. You got a little bit of age on the glass surround again. Driver's side window it does have some light scratching, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. It just looks like just one right here. Right. We're coming in under the hood, you see a very factory presenting engine compartment. It has been added the faux 
dual quad intake is just a single four barrel underneath there but it does dress up with the engine a little bit same with the mustang powered by ford valve covers i'll go ahead and get in the car and fire up show us some lights working you'll see it still has the factory fender tag the stamping on the inner fender and I just fires right up. Run smooth. You got your headlights. There's your GT fog lights. High beams. Driver side, turn signal, passenger side, turn signal. Running lights, brake lights, driver side, turn signal, passenger side, turn signal. And reverse lights. All your lights are functioning. We'll help Tyler by unsnapping this boot and we'll show you the top going up and down. Not only do the exterior lights work, but the interior lights. So you got the back of the A console, both your door panels, both those lights work. So now we'll watch the top go up and down. It does benefit from having a factory power top. It does function very well. And the top is in good condition. It does have a couple little small punctures from the factory frame pinching the top. But your back window is extremely clear. Looks very good. Come around the driver's side, that's just dirt. But we do have a couple more punctures here from the frame. But overall, the top's in very good condition, other than those very minor punctures from the frame for the top. And we'll watch the top go down. The best function just like it should. If you're in the market for a very nice driver quality Mustang GT clone or just a nice classic convertible, I mean, this car it runs and drives right. I mean, it's just going to be, be a proud favorite at the cruise ins. It's just a very stunning and beautiful Mustang. You're not going to be disappointed driving this. Rock solid motorsports.